Hello, welcome to the course of satellite. So today we are going to discuss about the sat satellite multiple assess technique. And here in this multiple assess technique chapter, we will discuss about the multiple assess techniques, then the secondary assess techniques, then FDMA, TDMA and CDMA in detail. So let's start with discussing about the satellite multiple assess technique. So here the satellite multiple assess techniques are used to allow a large number of ground station to share the allocated spectrum in the most efficient manner. So as we know that the spectrum is limited, so the sharing is required to increase the capacity of satellite link. Here the most important com component that are used in multiple assess process are satellite transponder and the user ground terminal. So these two are the important component used in multiple assess technique. Here the goal of multiple assess process is that it is used to allow the satellite network to respond to high and limited demand period accordingly and to use resources efficiently to provide high performance throughput. The next these are the type of multiple assess methods that are used in satellite communication. The first one is FDMA that is Frequency Division Multiple Assess. Second one is Time Division Multiple Assess that is TDMA. And the third one is Core Division Multiple Assess that is CDMA. And the further the secondary assess techniques are the first one is Demand Assigned Multiple Assess that is GAMA. Next is Space Division Multiple Assess that is SGMA. And Satellite Switched TDMA that is SS TDMA. And the fourth one is multiple frequency time division multiple assess that is FMTDMA. So these secondary assess techniques are used in these of three of these multiple assess method that is FDMA, TDMA and CDMA. So let's discuss about these secondary assess techniques one by one. So the first one is demand assigned multiple assess that is GAMA. So here the demand assigned multiple assess is a demand assigned network which changes the signal configuration dynamically according to the change in user demand. And here the FDMA or TDMA networks are operated with pre-assigned channel called fixed assess or the pre-assigned assess or they can be operated as an assigned on demand DAMA network. The next one is the space division multiple assess. So here the space division multiple assess refer to the capability to assign users to special separated physical link like the different antenna beams, cells, sector antennas, etc. So it can be employed with any of the three basics multiple assess technique like FDMA, TDMA and CDMA and it is an essential element of mobile satellite network which employs multi-beam satellites and it may also include the frequency reuse and orthogonal polarized link to further increase the network capacity. Next method is satellite switched TDMA that is SSTDMA. So here it is a form of TDMA in which circuit switching is used to dynamically change the channel assignment. Next is multi, uh, multi frequency TDMA. So here it is a technique used to combine both FDMA and TDMA. And it is used to improve capacity and performance for baseband satellite communication network. The next we are going to discuss about the multiple assess technique like the first one is FDMA. So here the FDMA here each station is assigned a specific frequency band for the uplink and all station receives total spectrum on downlink. Here the FDMA are used for analog and digital transmission. FDMA is the most useful for application that require full time channel like video distribution and it is less expensive to implement and, uh, than the other SS technique. So here you can see that this is a diagram that is showing three stations and they are communicating with the single satellite by using the, the three different frequencies. So here this figure shows an example for three ground stations assessing a single frequency translation satellite transponder and here each station is assigned a specific frequency band for its uplink like F1, F2 and F3. And here the frequency per time plot of the figure shows that each ground station has exclusive use of its frequency band or slot. And here this, uh, uh, here, this frequency slots can either be pre-assigned or can be changed on demand. 
and here the frequency guard band are used to avoid interference between the user slots. So this is about this figure that is showing the frequency division multiple SS technique. Next is the FDMA is further divided in PCM, TDM, PSK, FDMA and PCM, SCPC, PSK, FDMA. See here PCMA, TDM, PSK, FDMA is PCM, TDMA, pulse code modulation, time division multiplex applications are used for voice communication. And it is one of the most common multi-channel per carrier FDMA system used in satellite communication. And the second one that is PCM, SCPC, PSK, FDMA, it is a popular digital baseband single channel per carrier system that is used for data and voice application and no signal multiplexing is involved in this method. So this is about the FDMA. Next is TDMA. So here in TDMA, each station is assigned a specific uplink time slot for the packet. And downlink transmission is interleaved set of all packets from all ground station. So here with TDMA, the multiple carriers are separated by time in the transponder rather than the frequency as with the FDMA. So here TDMA is mostly used for the digital transmission and here a reference station is used to establish the synchronization to reference clock and to provide burst time operational data to the network. So this diagram is showing the TDMA technique. Here three ground station assessing a single frequency translation satellite transponder. Each station is assigned a specific time slot that is T1, T2 and T3 for its uplink transmission of burst of data. And here uh, each ground station has exclusive use of full transponder bandwidth during its time slot. And here the time slot is, can be pre-assigned or can be changed on demand. And here guard times are used between the time slots to avoid the interference. And on the downlink, the, these three time slots will be uh, transmitted at the same time on the downlink uh, carrier. The next is the TDMA is further divided into PCM, TDM, PSK, TDMA and the satellite switched TDMA. So here the PCM, TDM, PSK, TDMA, this is a type of TDMA network structure consisting of PCM based baseband formatting, TDMA source combining and QPSK or BPSK modulation. So this technique is used in VSAT network. The another one, one is satellite switch TDMA. Here SSTDMA consists of a rapid reconfiguration of antenna beams on board the satellite. So this, cap, uh, this capability provides additional level of SS capabilities over the basic TDMA. The next, the last technique is CDMA. So here CDMA is a hybrid combination of FDMA and TDMA. That means CDMA is a combination of both frequency and time separation. So here each uplink station is assigned time slots and frequency band encoded sequence. And downlink receiver must know code to detect the original signal. Here it is the most complex techniques to implement requiring several level of synchronization at both the transmi transmission and reception level. Here it is also known as SSMA that is spread spectrum multiple SS technique. So this diagram is showing that the, these three stations are using a different code like C1, C2 and C3 to communicate with the satellite transponder. And on the downlink carrier, th these codes are transmitted together at the downlink carrier at this frequency. So here there is a less chance of interference and they are very secure network that is using the CDMA technique. Next CDMA is further divided into two types that is direct sequence spe uh, separate spectrum and frequency hopping separate spectrum. So here the direct sequence separate spectrum is, uh, is the separate spectrum technique where original data signal is multiplied with a pseudo random noise spreading code. Whereas in FHSS that is the frequency hopping separate spectrum, it is a method of transmitting signal by rapidly switching a carrier among various frequency channels using a pseudo noise sequence. So here FHSS PN sequence is known to both transmitter and receiver. So these are the two type of CDMA technique. So this is all about the multiple SS techniques. Thank you.